vocabulary list five nine um, in signing naturally is a fun one because it is whatever you want it to be. So this vocabulary list is available for you to learn signs about what you'd like to do for a living, what kind of job you want to have in the future. So I will teach you two signs um, related to that and then sign something to you, ask you uh, some questions. And then you get to tell me what signs you would like to know, what you uh, related to what job you would like to have in the future, what you would like to do in the future. All right, so the two signs that I wanna teach you are the signs for happen and the signs for become. So the sign for happen is two D hand shapes with your palms facing up. So relax your shoulders and your elbows should be out here in neutral space in front of you about at waist level. I'll move mine up. Um, and then the movement for happen is you just start with your palms up and you end with your palms down. You just flip them over. Happen. Let me scoot back a little bit. Happen. So this sign in English is used like happen, you know, like we use it in English, but it's also used for uh, like the word when in English. Not when it's a question, but when, like when I was little or when I grow up or when I graduate. So happen I grow up or happen I graduate or happen something else. <laughs> so that's when I, whatever, okay? So the when that's a question is this and you have your eyebrows down and you're asking a question. This is a statement. When I do this, then I'll do this. All right, the second sign that we're gonna learn here is the sign for become. You want two flat hand, flat hand shapes with your palms facing each other. And then what you're going to do is turn them in opposite directions, become. And this is related to the sign for change. Okay, so you are going to become something else, grown up or a doctor or whatever, right? Become. All right, so here, is, here are my two questions for you, okay? 